say uh, that I will not be a candidate for re-election for mayor of Detroit in 2025. But here's what I know for sure about this city. The next mayor is coming in in a far better place. The city of Detroit preparing for a new chapter after Mayor Mike Duggan announced he will not seek a fourth term in office. His decision now sets up an open race for next year. Good afternoon and thanks for joining us. I'm Lauren Winfrey. Duggan has been a longtime advocate for Detroit during a critical era of the city's transformation. While he didn't talk about his next political steps, he did say being mayor has been the honor of a lifetime. CBS News Detroit's Jack Springgate joins us live from downtown Detroit with more on the mayor's plans to finish out his term before he says goodbye. Jack. Well, Lauren, for those who remember, Mayor Duggan wasn't even on the ballot when he first ran, winning the primary as a write-in candidate. As he reached his second term, he was a favorite among Detroit voters. And now as he closes out his third term, he's thanking residents and city employees for giving him and this city a chance. I realized um, it's time. Mike Duggan officially announces this will be his final term as Detroit's mayor, but he still says there's a lot more work to do before he leaves office. We've done a great job getting the manufacturing jobs back here, uh, but we are still losing way too much of our young talent. And when I sit with the top kids out of Detroit high schools and say, where are you going to be in 10 years? I want them saying, I want to be here in Detroit. That's what we're going to work on. His active year for Detroit residents couldn't be more apparent after one resident told us where the city could improve before Duggan made his decision. We need to have more jobs that are more appealing to the youth, uh, whether that's tech jobs, whether that's still manufacturing. All right. All right. Duggan says he's keeping his future plans to himself for now. He named qualities he'd like to see in Detroit's next mayor, stopping short of naming a successor. I think there are two things. One is no us versus them politics. You have to unite people. Second, you got to have the courage to say to people what you can't do. But I'm going to be looking for who's got the courage uh, to tell Detroiters the truth. And I think the people of Detroit will naturally uh, follow that candidate. Other residents shared their reaction to Mayor Duggan's decision. I've seen him in this big city come to the neighborhoods and work and work and work. So I've seen the transformation as a lifelong resident of the city of Detroit. I am so excited for him, but I'm feeling some type of way because I wish he would stay. I hate to see him leave. I really do. But we have to go along with whoever is going to be the next candidate for the mayor of the city of Detroit. Now, another big question is what's next for the mayor after this term? Well, with Governor Gretchen Whitmer reaching her term limit in Lansing, many of Duggan's supporters want to see him make a run for governor in 2026. We'll see if that's the case, as Duggan says he'll open up a little bit more about his future plans in the coming months. But for now, reporting live in downtown Detroit, I'm Jack Springate, CBS News, Detroit.